Good morning. This is Champions of Care, a Champion Chair podcast, and your go-to resource for industry-leading insights regarding medical seating and their applications. Welcome to Champions of Care. I'm Courtney Eckerd, and joining me today is Bill Willis. We are talking about something very important today, Eye Safety Month. Bill, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so glad that you're here. So can you tell us a little bit about your background and why Eye Safety Month is an important benchmark for Vance Thompson Vision? Yeah, perfect. I've been a nurse for 10 years now. I've been with Vance Thompson Vision for over seven and got involved initially with uh, research and transitioned into <clears throat> running some of our refractive laser platforms for LASIK, PRK, Smile, you know, all the, the fun refractive surgeries that changed so many lives and first started noticing like little little things in surgery where that were caused by uh, an eye injury and some of the things we we were we were trying to help them you know through that so after being involved with the the LASIK area then transitioned up into the surgery center which is where I you know work now for the past three years and um, we encounter um, eye injury cases up here also where it could be fireworks or some other kind of blunt trauma to the eye and it's affected people's vision in a, in a big way. And, you know, we're here for the surgical side of, of their eye health and care. This is my first time being aware of and celebrating, if we're calling it that, Eye Safety Month. But as soon as you hear that, Eye Safety Month, you can realize the importance and think, of course, this is something we should be observing. And I'm curious, what are some little known dangers to our precious eyes? Little known dangers is probably on the medical side. First thing that comes to mind for me is glaucoma. You know, you could liken it to blood pressure. Blood pressure just can elevate over time and you may be unaware of it. Well, glaucoma is an increase in pressure within the eye. If left unchecked or unwatched, uh, you know, can lead to peripheral vision loss and it's permanent nerve damage. So it's really important and it's an insidious disease where unless you're getting regular eye checks with your optometrist, every year, two years, then you may be completely unaware that you have elevated pressure and at risk for, for visual loss uh, in the current time and in the future. So what extra measures can we take to be on top of our eye care? Routine visits with your optometrist. The optometric community is fantastic uh, with these regular eye exams. You, normal, young, healthy eyes you should be seen one to two years there. You know, if, if you do, if you have great vision, that's wonderful, but you still need to look at the health of the eye. And so that's where those regular appointments really, really come in handy. Absolutely. And in what situations is eye protection most useful and most imperative? Uh, the, the big things that come to mind for me are hammering metal or grinding metal, you know, any, anything that you're probably doing in the shop. Um, I remember grinding on a piece of metal and the wheel came apart and hit me in the face. I was not wearing eye protection at the time. And mm -hmm. somehow I closed my eyes in time, but it hit me in the face. I, you know, almost had a couple little welts on my cheeks and, you know, a couple inches one way or another, it could have been a permanently, uh, could have been a permanent eye injury. Absolutely. So in that situation or anytime that you're working with big pieces like that, what protection should we be using? Goggles, is that what we're looking for? Uh, you can, you, there's a lot of different forms of eye protection. You know, like you can think, okay, I'm in my sixth grade science class. You have those giant goggles that are like this big. Yeah, those work great too, right? And the, But nowadays we have these streamlined, really nice looking safety glasses that have nice coverage on the side. You want to cover the entire face with uh, protection because you could still have things that come in from the periphery that can still, you know, hit the field of, uh, of your vision. It could bounce off the inside of the lens that you're wearing if you don't have side protection and still hit the eye. So it's important to have something that, that covers really well. Um, that's the biggest thing, something that fits well and that you're wearing them. Um, I've had instances where I'll be working outside on something, like maybe driving a stake in the ground or you know what have you, and the glasses are on my head, not on my face. The first couple strikes with the hammer and I'm thinking, okay, we need to get those back in place. So you just really need to be conscious of wearing them and not letting them sit on your head. So just a simple, good pair of safety glasses is the biggest thing. Absolutely. And in the event that something would happen to your eyes, what is the best next step for someone? Should they urgently go to their optometrist? You could present to acute care. Like if you're during 
if it's during a normal business hours, I would call the optometrist and, and ask to be seen. It's, you know, you're better off to probably err on the, the cautionary side and be seen and have them reassure you that you're okay versus say sleep through the night. And then you have, you know, maybe it's a piece of metal in your eye. Well, like any metal that comes in contact with water, you can have rust and then, you know, uh, they still need to go in and, and remove that for you. So, uh, getting care as soon as possible is the most important thing. So if your optometrist office is open, I would call them. And uh, if not, you know, it, it'd be wise to go to acute care and, and be seen. Thank you so much for the information on eye protection. If listeners want to learn more about Vance Thompson Vision, where should they go? They can go to www.vancethompsonvision.com and find all of our uh, resources and all of our locations right there. Well, Bill, thank you so much for joining me. I know I learned so much about eye protection and safety that I didn't know before. I appreciate you joining us. Yes, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. This has been Courtney Eckerd from Market Scale and Bill Willis from Vance Thompson. We hope you have a great day.